my, my firm's involved in a, a variety of civil litigation matters. Uh, one type of, of case that has occurred uh, over the years that, that we've had success in handling are automotive dealership negligence claims. And what, one example of, of a case that I had early in my career uh, involved uh, a defect in, in a trailing arm of the, of the, of the steering system of, of a Ford. And what ultimately happened in this case, it was a one car accident where my client was driving on the highway and the car jumped very hard to the right, causing a rollover, which ultimately resulted in a severe spinal cord injury and quadriplegia. What was unknown to, to the client at the time was that there had been uh, prior damage to the trailing arm that had impacted the rear wheel to the point where there was a risk and susceptibility to the car uh, jumping off the road or losing control, however you want to characterize it. While the, the risk was low uh, and, and not a common uh, occurrence, the, the dealership was ultimately shown to be aware that the, the damage pre-existed the sale of the car and it was ultimately shown that the, that the damage contributed to the accident in the case. If, if you or a family member have uh, questions about potential defect from, uh, from a dealership, please give me a call. These are uh, they're very difficult cases in order to, to trace uh, the origin of the damage at times, but it can be done. Uh, that case, uh, I'm very proud of the work we did in that case. Uh, we were able to, to create uh, a much nicer uh, life care plan, uh, provide uh, much better medical resources uh, for our client in that case. And uh, in the end, yeah, I'm hopeful that the dealership in question has changed some of their practices and policies and, and are more attentive to uh, situations where they cause damage to a car and they fail to, to inform their customers of such damage. Again, my firm is available uh, to investigate uh, cases involving automotive dealership negligence. Uh, we take cases on contingency fees, which means that if we're not successful in the case, I don't charge you for our time or for the resources advance.